To the Sacred Heart In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you all my prayers, works, joys and sufferings of this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world, in reparation for my sins, for the intentions of all my relatives and friends, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father. Amen. Prayer for Peace Heavenly Mother of Fatima, Thou hast promised peace. If the sinful world turns to the Immaculate Heart and does penance, we turn to You in the spirit of penance and fill our confidence. Merciful Heart, obtain for us peace. Send a just and lasting peace to the world. Make justice and righteousness triumph over all godless forces, over hatred, tyranny, and sin. Mercifully protect our Holy Mother of Church, our Holy Father, bishops, and priests. Guard our homes, our churches, and our country. Holy Mary, pity mankind and its bloodshed, slaughter, and disaster. Prove to all nations the wonderful love 
of thy immaculate and maternal heart, and lead them to thy divine Son, to his peace and endless joy. Amen. Prayer for the Intercession of Our Lady of Consolation God our Father, you sent us your only Son, born of the Virgin Mary, as a consolation of your people. Through the prayer of his mother, may we find in him the fullness of your compassion and share its blessings to all around us. May Mary, our Mother of Consolation, who brought comfort and strength to Monica with the conversion of her son Augustine, help all those in need and bring consolation to them. Amen. Prayer for the Beatification of Venerable Mother Consuelo, Barcelo, OSA God of love and compassion, you endowed Mother Consuelo with great love and zeal for your honor and glory. We commend to you her life and example of love of God and neighbor. With faith and trust in your gracious providence, we pray for her beatification so that she may continue to inspire us in seeking your will and living a holy life. God of mercy, we also humbly present to you our need, united with the confirmation of the holiness of life of Mother Consuelo. Please mention your intention. In gratitude of your boundless blessings, we praise and thank you, our God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Panatang makabayan, iniibig ko ang Pilipinas, aking lupang sinilangan, tahanan ng aking lahi. Kinukupkup ako at tinutulungang maging malakas, masipag at marangal. Dahil mahal ko ang Pilipinas, diringgin ko ang payo ng aking magulang, susundin ko ang tuntuni ng paaralan, tutuparin ko ang tungkulin ng mamamayang makabayan naglilingkod, nag-aaral at nagdarasal ng buong katapatan. Iaalay ko ang aking buhay, pangarap, pagsisikap sa bansang Pilipinas. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 2 verses 22 to 40. When the day came for the purification according to the law of Moses, they brought the baby up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn male should be consecrated to God. And they offered the sacrifices ordered in the law of the Lord. And a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons, there lived in Jerusalem at this time a very upright and devout man named Simeon. The Holy Spirit was in him. He looked forward to the time when the Lord could comfort Israel. And he had been assured by the Holy Spirit that he would not die before seeing the Messiah of the Lord. So he was led into the temple by the Holy Spirit at the time of the 
parents brought the child Jesus to do for him, according to the custom of the law. Simon took the child in his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, O Lord, you can dismiss your servant in peace, for you have fulfilled your word, and my eyes have seen your salvation, which you display for all the people to see. Here is the light you will reveal to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. His father and mother wondered what was said about the child. Simon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, Know this your son is a sign a step established for the falling and rising of many Israel, a sign of contradiction, and the Spirit will burst your own soul so that out of many hearts thoughts may be revealed. There was also prophets named Anna, daughter of Pandro of the tribe of Asher. After leaving her father's home, she had been seven years with her husband, and since then she had been continually about the temple serving God as widow. Night and day in fasting and prayer, she was now 84, coming up at the time she gave praise to God and spoke of the child to all who looked forward to deliverance of Jerusalem. When the parents had fulfilled all that was required by the law of the Lord, they returned to their town, Nazareth, in Galilee. There the child grew in stature and strength and was filled with wisdom. The grace of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. To your Lord Jesus Christ.